and manage cases. And one thing that, you know, certainly we have in common, and it's consistent with our mission, is that, you know, to varying degrees, we offer the same support, resources, and assistance to all our neighbors. What's different probably between all of us is how we administer and we manage those cases. For example, um, many of us are paper-based, paper-oriented. That's all we use. So we may have one or more you know, paper notebooks that we use to record client or neighbor information. Some of us actually have a combination of paper notebooks, maybe spreadsheets, uh, Google Sheets, could be documents on our own personal laptops. In combination, some of us actually use Dropboxes as well. But by the very nature of how we do things right now, they're very prone to having redundant data, uh, to uh, be very time consuming, and because it is very manual, we have, we have this tendency, we're prone to making mistakes, either in terms of mistaken data put in or incomplete data being put in. But needless to say, uh, you know, it's very time consuming. One thing I want to add right now, because we are kind of like island unto ourselves right now, we have our own tools, we have our own processes, it makes it very challenging and difficult, and probably if not at times impossible, to share information among ourselves or with the outreach center, you know, for that matter. Uh, you know, one thing that comes to mind, I'm just relating this to personal experience, and I know you, I know you know this from singing in the choir, is that you know, if we take a phone call, we take it off voicemail, we're taking the information off, we find ourselves, once we do that, you were having to go to a spreadsheet, having to go to a paper notebook, maybe one, more than one source to do that just to dare determine is it an existing name or an existing client or is it brand new. We find ourselves taking the time to do that in touch. Um, and again, when we actually enter intake information, some of us, and I'm not saying all of us, but some of us will record that information in more than one spot. Again, it's just redundant and it takes time to do that and it kind of gets prone to error. Uh, I mentioned about the difficulty of sharing information, and one other thing that I'll mention is simply creating reports. For those that do this, and I've talked to many of you have, is that that can be kind of a pain, because at the end of the month or a quarter, you're having to go to different sources where you have uh, multiple information. It could be some of it's in a paper notebook, some of it's in a spreadsheet, where you're pulling all that information together, you're consolidating that information to generate that report. Uh, so, you know, again, I don't think I'm, I'm singing the choir when I bring all this up, but certainly was the impetus, all right, for wanting to find a tool that actually would make our lives easier, would improve our productivity and the quality of what we do. So, about two years ago, yes, thank you. I thought I projected the guy. Evidently, I don't. Uh, I apologize. So, about two years ago, a team of us here in Cincinnati of Ascensions, and that included people from the Outreach Center, from some of the conferences over time for so the last two years, have actually been researching and evaluating different tools that might be able to do the job. As it turns out, a few months ago, we actually did select a tool. And to give you a little bit of history, this is a tool that some years ago was actually developed between one of the other councils of the United States and a software developer. So several years ago, they actually developed a, so a system that was developed by Vincentians for Vincentians specifically for conferences. Uh, and, and what that really showed us in the evaluation and from the final selection, this was a proven system of something to which we all can relate. And uh, also, uh, at this point, this system is actually being used by 17 councils throughout the United States, including our neighbors right across the river here in northern Kentucky. So at this point, I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop. I'm going to turn it over to Dennis Coyne, who's the actual president of the Northern Kentucky Council. And what he's gonna do is discuss more about what this system is and share some of his personal experiences. Well, I guess you can consider me the plant from across the river. But I did start out on this side of the river at Nativity. Nativity, and uh, moved across the river several years ago. What I'd like to say is... Dennis is also on my conference life committee, so he, he stays in touch. Um, everything Jim said is absolutely on target. 
um, today, as I was sitting here and folks came up and spoke to me and asking questions, I found myself saying this, which really surprised me. I'm saying this about a piece of software. I love it, and I do. And I've discovered that it really helps us, as Jim said. And the way it helps us, it helps us as individual incentives, it helps us as a conference, and it helps us as uh, members of the, of the council, the district, whatever it may be. When I say, <clears throat> excuse me, as a consension, how does it help me? I believe it helps me to be more focused on what I am doing. How many times in the past, gone to a meeting and had your uh, visit two weeks before, and you find yourself the night before, or the day of the meeting, or at the meeting, starting to fill out your paperwork? Has that happened? Have you seen people do that? I have. I'm sure you have too. I find that I'm more focused on what I am doing and how I do it. I sit down after the visit and I think about what happened and I record it. And I find that the process, it's a process that takes us through it. It's very integrated from me as a Vincentian to uh, the conference president or the conference treasurer. If I need to request assistance as far as making a payment, the system does it. I put it into the system. The system is uh, integrated with your email system. You find out about a case, it's sent to you by email. If you need to do something as far as making a payment, it notifies the treasurer that something needs to be done. So it's a truly integrated system that helps us to be focused as Jim just spoke about. Provides reports, um, those come in handy as far as what we do for the parish. Um, I don't know if you do it, but I know Paul Hoding is the one that gave me the template many, many years ago. And I use that template still today, Paul, for the parish report. And the information that we got from the annual report this year was done very quickly, very easily. So it very, it's very much a great help. One of the other major features that I'd like to talk about is, yes, I'm sorry, Courtney, you'll be on. It's what we call the search feature. Search feature is powerful. First of all, I can't talk about all the things that this system can do. We only have a few minutes, but I'd like to just point out a couple of things. So this is kind of the case record form that you're looking at up there. And you see that we've got a person and her name is Natalie Curley. Let me get my pointer here. Oh, it looks like I have to be right in front of it. Right there. So there you have your person's name. And um, I think you go to the next slide. So I'm looking for Natalie. And I go through the system, and one of the first things it does is, hey, she lives on Beach Grove. And brings up all the people that are on Beach Grove that I can see to make sure I don't have a duplicate or it's a person we've seen before. Notice that one thing down here, it says red flag. That's your no help list. And you see a Chris McIntyre at the exact same dress as Natalie, 425, apartment six. So that could be a significant other or possibly a child. You'll see that in a few minutes. Okay, next slide. Next identifier, we look at the last name. So it looks and finds Curly and Carly and Carol, Ellie, and any other thing that might sound like Curly. So it's, it's a very powerful search system that I, I really find very, very helpful. Okay, you can move on. One of the things, two of the things I really like and I was showing people this morning is the pre-printed form that you go and take with, take with you when you go on a visit. Um, let's just show them the three pages because this is a, a crop of, of, of the couple pages and we'll go back to the first one. So this is three pages, three pages on here, but essentially it's only two pages itself. And you'll notice that it has the information and you look down, We've seen this person before, and you see Chris McIntyre, adult child. So that's what we saw when we were going through it. It goes through a step process to help you find and make sure that you're not doing duplicate uh, visits. 
and duplicate services to people. So it's very, very powerful that way. Um, go down to the next one, that's fine. And we can see what's happened before. We paid, we paid Owen Electric, that's our Duke across the river. We paid them 170 bucks. And that's why she was somewhat red flagged. But Natalie's got some issues. So we wanted to try and help Natalie. And go down to the next slide. So we look at the, um, this is what we call the finance and expense sheet. And this was populated because she's been seen before. And you can see in here the various income and various expenses. Uh, the income is 760 and the expenses is 692. So she's on the edge at all times. And actually, if you look real closely, we failed to put in how much money is spent on food. So obviously, she's not drinking water 30 days a month. So she's actually underwater. So this is information that helps you when you're going out and making that visit. So Jim, about the possibilities and adaptability for a minute. And then when he's done, I'm gonna point, bring in a little bit about the treasurer function. I saw, I'll keep this pretty quick. Uh, one, one of the key criteria for selection was adaptability of this, because it turns out, and we talked about before, uh, all of us you know, have our own roles and processes of how we actually manage cases. So it was important to us to have a system that quite frankly could adapt to how we do things. That's not to say that when you finally roll this out, this is not an opportunity to revisit you know, your processes and your roles and how you actually use the resources. But, it's, but if you didn't do that, this system is very adaptable to do that. And a good example is that we've had three pilot conferences uh, up to this point over the last month, and that was St. Clair, and Nativity, and St. Bernard. Each of those do things very differently. Uh, so for example, St. Clair, uh, is Joyce here? Hi, Joyce. So, uh, and, and correct me if I'm wrong, Joyce, but I think you're the, not you, but there's the, the bag lady concept, right? And really what that means is, is that for a couple week period of time, they have someone assigned to be the bag lady, or maybe politically correct, the bag person. I talk to you. Uh, but then what this person does is they are central intake. They take all the calls, they log all those calls, and they can get together with other members of the team a couple of times a week to really, you know, pass out paperwork in a bag, all right, that's then taken down the home visits and followed by the same people. And in time, they close the loop again with the, the bag lady. On the other hand, you have some conferences, you know, that they have an office, and the entire team gets together, uh, you know, once a day, you know, for a couple days a week or six days a week, such like nativity, where as a group or as a team, they're taking the calls and they're deciding, uh, you know, who's going to do what home visits, put the paperwork together, the two different. But as it turns out, the system, again, is very adaptable. Uh, both those conferences with their processes have been able to do that. Uh, and just because it's the framework of how, how the tool is set up. So, I mean, that's kind of a thumbnail sketch, but in essence, that's, that's what it is. So, uh, this is not something that's going to force you to do things dramatically different if you don't want to. Those are all good points. And uh, one of the things that Steve asked me to talk about, or Don asked me to talk about, is how does this interface with other people in the conference? Does this help, handle, what have you? What well, creates opportunities? We've talked about that. Um, uh, for example, at my conference across the river, we have two people that can't make home visits because of physical problems that they have. But they do know a little bit about computers, and they got involved, in, and they're involved in helping people within the conference. So they've assumed roles to be uh, mentors and also do what we call case management. So it does create opportunities. And I think we have to think about the people we're trying to recruit for St. Vincent de Paul. We're trying to bring in young people. Uh, they're not real interested in working with paper. You know, they're, they're interested in working with this and uh, working with, uh, you know, with computers or their laptops or their uh, tablets, etc. So it's real important that we have a welcoming system because they are not going to want to deal with paper. I'm 74, so I think, you know, I'm probably on the kind of higher end on, on this thing, but it was not difficult to learn this system. And we're bringing on a new conference next week. And I showed them, I gave them a demonstration two weeks ago, and they were thoroughly excited. And why were they excited? Because they're younger people. They're in their 40s and 50s. 
<laughs> and we showed them the we showed them the, the system, and they said, "Wow, this is something we can work with. This okay. is something we do want to work with." So if we're going to recruit, this is a this is an important selling tool that we're we're getting away from the the paper. Um, Danny, I'm go I'm going to jump in because I appreciate you saying this, but it works the other way too. There are there may be some people that they join Vincentium for the for the personal connection with our clients and they love to do home visits, but you know what? They're not so interested in entering data. It can go the other way too. You can recruit people to just do home visits, to be case workers. You can recruit people to be uh, case managers. You recruit people to do data entry or you recruit people to do everything. But they can find, the point is, they can find a role that suits them in this system. That's very true. Good point, Steve. Um, let's go on to the next slide. Uh, this is one of the last things I just want to show you. So, we went out to see Natalie, and we decided, you know, hey, she still needs help because we don't do something. Uh, the electric's going to be turned off, and she's got MS, and has all kinds of problems. So, it's not a good thing. So, this is the treasury function. If you look here, and you see it's got your bank statement in here, got all the information, and it lists everything that happens. And you'll see there's debit transaction and checks that were written. And you'll see here we did a, um, a check, if I can get my thing on it, for, for um, here we are, for Natalie. And uh, we decided we were going to spend another 200 bucks to, to help her and, and stay, uh, you know, stay uh, viable within her apartment. And this is where we make our exceptions, but the, system's a lot, the system allows us, because it's integrated, uh, we submitted a check request, goes by email, the treasurer picked it up, treasurer looked at it, paid it, an email comes back to the, uh, to the caseworker, caseworker can go in and close the case. So it's a fully integrated system. And um, I think we're at the point where reports, it does generate reports. It generates a, um, a monthly report, and it tells you how many visits you made, uh, how many people you saw, how much in-kind help you provided, how much direct assistance, money spent, et cetera, et cetera. So this is actually a mini annual report. Your monthly report is a mini annual report and it provides the data and summarizes all the data at the end of the year. I just did the national uh, input for, for the uh, St. Vincent Paul report. I had a year's worth of data. It took me less than half an hour to complete it because it was all right there. Very, very functional, very helpful. Um, I think, yeah, let's see, you want to talk about this one? Denny, I think you've pretty much done your testimonial for Northern Kentucky, but we got representatives from our three test conferences here. So first, sitting right here with me from Nativity is Bill Leonard. Hi, it's alluded to Nativity. Uh, does call six days a week. We do about 50 calls, 50 plus calls a month on people. And um, we are organized in a way that maybe is a little different than you all. We have nine teams of two to four people. And each team is pretty independent to be case intake, case assignment, and actual um, do the visits themselves and then summarize the visits. And so just to reinforce a couple points that were made is that one, because it's been used in a lot of other districts, we have not been having to spend time working on bugs in the system, even as a lead site for that. So that's been really helpful for us. It's been more focused on how do we get the system to fit up with the way we work, or do we need to adjust our work to fit with the system? And really, we found that it has the flexibility to do basically the work that we do it now. So I'm not retraining people on the, on the way we do our work. It's capturing the data, recording it, how do we interact with the system to get some of the advantages of being able to find people. And, you know, the example is sometimes we don't understand all the message on the phone call. I'm sure you all have that too. Mm -hmm. And I got the phone number, but I don't know the name. Well, we have an all paper system, so we, we cannot find anybody if we don't have a name. If they've been a previous client anywhere in the conference, we can go in, enter the phone number, and find the rest of that information before we call them back. So there's some big pluses we've seen on that. The other thing I'd like to emphasize is that um, we have, anytime you do a work process change, with us having so many different teams, and each kind of have their own way of operating, it's been a chance for us to really go through how do we do this, and this kind of drives the level of 
increased standardization, not that the people don't have flexibility, but we really want people focused on engagement with the neighbors and not on reports and writing and things like that. So if we can make that standard, get people so they don't have to worry about that, then we can focus on delivering the aid we want. Okay, next we got Barb Niehaus from St. Bernard's Spring Grove Village. I've been doing it all of about 10 days. <laughs> but I think what was, a couple things have been exciting for me were that a lot of times when I get the message, the name sounds familiar. But I can't, I, you know, I go through my papers and since we had four different teams, but what was exciting, the day we were trained, and I'm putting people in, and I put somebody in, and they've been seen. And so, which is, since it's so new, it's obvious, it's strange, it's, the system is so new. But it was really fun, because I could look and see, oh, they went down to Bank Street, and they got um, help with bus fare. And, and that was really good, because that's what I want to know. We have four teams. And I won't have to, I won't have to, you know, I get a call and it says, uh, well, I saw somebody last week and, uh, or sometime, do I know their name? No, they don't know their name. And so then I'm bugging the other four teams who saw this person. But now I can go in and find out right away who, <laughs> who saw that person. So I'm loving it. But I like things like that. <coughs> And the last of our teams is St. Clair, and this is Joyce Hicks. Um, you already got a little bit of an introduction as to our process, which is somewhat different from other conferences. What I've been working with the systems now. I've been I have been preparing the case intake worksheet for um, the volunteers who are going out on home visits. Bag lady. Bag lady. Well, we have, we have several of us. Marita is also a bag lady. She and another member of our conference are already starting to input the conference, the uh, client visit data, post the setup. So, and they've been um, putting data in, closing cases. Um, like Barb, we've already found several clients who've been seen at the, at the Carter Center. And we've only been doing this for a couple of weeks. So it is, it, it raised a couple of red flags for us um, regarding some discrepancies in information with the client. So we were able to work through that. Um, I think we have a bit of an advantage because about two years ago, we put all of our clients on Dropbox. So we have an individual, it's a Word document, but we have an individual file for every single client that we have seen up until now. We went back a couple of years. We didn't go back five, seven, or eight years. Um, that also, that helps us. We are still using that because obviously we only have all of our clients in the new system. The system is, I can't say foolproof, but there are a lot of checks and balances within the system that will alert you, hey, wait a minute, you haven't entered that data correctly. It certainly won't, um, correct a misspelling or an error in that in that process. But if you haven't entered the birth date in the correct format, or you haven't entered um, key information that you have to enter, it will alert you. So you can't go to the next step without completing the first one. And then one other quick note, the, um, the support that we have received, in particular from Courtney Rapp at the Carter Center, has been wonderful. Courtney has been willing to train and retrain, come out and visit with us, work one-on-one -on -one with individuals. Um, we will be rolling it out with all of our members on a gradual basis because, um, as was alluded to earlier, each one of us takes the office management part of the system for two-week intervals. So what I am doing is working with each individual on a need-to-know basis before they take that bag or before they take that um, office duty so that they're comfortable with it, can enter the data into the system, can um, prepare those case intake, intake forms. So it's going to be, we're not going to roll it out in one big um, fell swoop, similar to 
Oh, which is why connectivity, I think, is probably <laughs> we will be doing on a more gradual basis. Thank you, Joyce. Neither are we, and I think that sends it right back to you guys. Yeah, so uh, thank you, Joyce, so much. I guess this is probably a good chance for me to introduce myself as well. Uh, we're gonna, I'm just going to touch briefly on how this has been working for the Outreach Center. Um, and as, as it's already been alluded to, you know, this was designed with conference-centered uh, focus. And it's been amazing that we've been able to adapt that for the Outreach Center. And, you know, Joyce, you talked about support, and that kind of goes as well for us. The support we receive from um, the vendor has been amazing, and working with that relationship uh, it's been awesome between this and the test conferences as well. So thank you, Barb, Bill, and Joyce, for your encouraging comments. Um, thank you. And, and, and thanks for yes. <laughs> Had to start somewhere. I think Jim is going to uh, kind of close us out here with just some next steps. We're just going to wrap up for a phase right now. So, um, as you as you all have seen, you know, initially we started off with three pilot conferences. You've heard the status of those. So right now, those are well on their uh, on their way right now. So our plan right now to roll out the rest of the system to the remaining conferences over the next roughly year and a half, year and a half plus. So it's to the latter part of 2019. So we figure on an average, we should be able to roll out and support the rollout of three conferences a month. So we have a sign-up sheet for those that right now are interested or would like to get, you know, get scheduled. We have a sign-up sheet that about, frankly, about half of you right now have already put your names on. So we're already halfway there. Uh, now what we'll do is we'll follow up with you all right, to put together a schedule to do that. And to kind of give you an idea of what an implementation is, it's pretty straightforward and pretty simple. What we will do as a first step, we will actually work with you, talk with you, and interview you at your specific conference regarding how you do case management today. And what we'll do is take that information and then we'll weave that in and do a, tra a training session with your conference, or at least for those people who are actually going to touch the system. Now we can, you know, we can bring uh, your, your group in to, uh, to Bank Street, uh, but if that's not convenient, we can certainly come to your location as well. But the key is, is a two and a half hour work session. Once we do that, then really we're kind of passing in the lead over to you in terms of how quickly you actually implement and go online. Because really what's going to require is for you to review, you know, your resources, their availability, the roles you want people to play. Do you want to stay with the same processes? Do you want to change the process based upon what you've learned? But you'll have to lay that out. And once you do that, what will come out of that automatically will be a schedule where you'll actually go live, whether you do it in a big bang or whether you want to do it in an incremental fashion. But it all right, at this point really starts with, we're ready to go, it starts with just signing up. We'll follow up with you and then we'll start scheduling this because we really do need to maintain an aggressive schedule between now you know, and the latter part of 2019 because we have 50 some odd conferences to do. But I tell you, I was really, I was excited to see about half of you already have uh, signed up for that. And don't hesitate because honestly, from our own personal experience and the testimonies you've heard, uh, this, this is a very good system and it's really going to have a positive impact when we get on. I think that's it. Thank you all for 